here I am today talking to Jessica Hepburn, who is the Executive Director of the Lyric Theatre Hammersmith. Hello, Jessica. Hi. Nice Jimmy. to have you here. And you're going to talk about the exciting new project which is being launched here at the Lyric Theatre. That's right. Now, this project, which is the most significant cultural development to take place in West London for decades, is designed to build upon the Lyric's unique position within the UK's cultural ecology. So, can you explain a little bit more about this project? Um, absolutely. Um, well, I've been I've been working on getting this project off the ground for quite a few years now, um, and it involves building a two-storey extension uh, directly linked to the existing theatre on the west side of the building, mm -hmm. um, uh, and which is going to house a whole range of new facilities, principally for our work with children and young people. So we're going to have a new uh, dance studio, a film and TV studio, a new theatre studio, um, recording studios, um, practice rooms, a digital play space, a sensory um, space for children with disabilities, and, and even a small screening cinema. Um, and in addition to that, we're also giving the existing theatre its first major facelift in 30 years. Um, and one of the big ambitions for the project is improving our sustainability. Um, so um, we are working towards achieving a BRIAM rating of excellence, which is the government's sustainability rating for public buildings. Um, so it's quite an ambitious project. Yes, wonderful. Uh, you've already got one award, a Green Award already, haven't you? That's mm. right, yes, that's absolutely right. Well, we were really, really delighted um, to be a, a, awarded the first three-star rating of any cultural venue in the country. Wow. Um, mm. So, yeah, so this will, this will take that even further so that we're a model of practice for public buildings and cultural buildings throughout the country. That's great. So how do you get the, um, the, the, the young people involved? And I know, I know a lot of colleges and schools encourage them to come up here. We, you, you do wonderful educational shows for them. And, well, not educational, proper theatre, but you get educational evenings. And I know there's that, and I know there's lots of workshops and things that you have at the weekends and different places. Do you get them all through colleges and schools, or can, well, there are they, can they come to you straight from Hammersmith? Yeah, there are, well, there are four sort of strands to our work um, with children and young people. Firstly is our work with schools, yeah. um, particularly focusing on schools and colleges, both primary and secondary and higher education in West London, um, particularly in Hammersmith and Fulham and Westminster, Westminster and uh, Kensington and Chelsea um, that are all part of the sort of new tri-borough um, arrangement. Um, so we do work with schools and in addition to that we do a lot of work out Outside school hours, so extracurricular activities mm. in evenings and weekends and holidays. Um, and then we also have um, a programme of work which we call our targeted programme, which is particularly working with young people who are experiencing um, particular challenges in life. They might have fallen out of education, they might be in care, um, they might be in trouble with the police. Mm. Um, and, and the arts are now recognised as being a really, you know, valuable forum for re-engaging those young people in society and in learning. Well I can corroborate that actually because I teach in a big college down in Isleworth and we have a lot of sort of slight problem teenagers and things come there and they come up here and join your your um, your workshops and things and, and last Christmas I saw about three of them in the pantomime. Oh yeah yes. well actually and in fact that links to the fourth strand mm -hmm. which is our what we call our next generation which is giving young people their first steps in the industry so um, the pantomime is one of our really successful projects in that respect which is we have a group of young people who audition to work alongside the professional company in the pantomime as our young ensemble and they get paid a minimum wage to be in it and um, and it and, and as I say it's their first steps that in the industry mm. yeah so so those are our programs for, for young people and with these with the new capital development we'll just be able to do much much more of that which is really exciting That's great so who are your key funders I mean you've got some powerful funders thank you for the capital project 
project. Yes, it's well, it's it's a complex partnership of uh, of funding from a, a range of different organisations. We've got we've had a lot of public support. So the f uh, so it was actually national government, the Department for Education, that put the first tranche of money in, um, and that was swiftly followed by the London Borough of Hammersmith and Fulham, the local authority, the Arts Council, and also uh, the Mayor's Office, the GLA. So they formed the main um, funders for the project. Um, and then in addition to that, we've, ha we've just been inundated with philanthropy from individuals and trusts and foundations and some corporate sponsorship. Disney, for example, across the road yes. from us mm -hmm. in Hammersmith mm -hmm. um, gave us um, a, a donation specifically for the screening cinema. It's going to be called the Disney Cinema. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, really, we, you know, particularly in these really challenging financial um, times to have had so much public and private support but I, I think that shows kind of what a, an exciting project is and how much need there is um, particularly f amongst children and young people locally. That's fabulous. Also, don't some haven't you got an online donation where they can donate donate some seeds for the garden? That's or, right. Yes. Yeah, it, we've um, we've launched an online appeal, um, which is called our buy an item appeal, and. Um, Many arts organisations or public buildings sort of run, you know, by a brick or um, by a tile. And we were thinking about a kind of um, a new way of approaching that. So we decided that we would sell everything in our new building, mm -hmm. exactly from a pack of seeds for the sedum roof or the little roof terrace to a tap, to a light switch, to a chair, to a um, recording um, piece of recording equipment to uh, so and 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 the public have well not only embraced the campaign and we've had such a huge response to it but so many generous donations as well. Fabulous, isn't it? That they all when they all rally. To, to, yeah, to the flag yeah, and like lovely that. messages. Yes. If you look on our website, yeah. you know people um, buying things that they feel particularly committed to and. Do writing. they get any kind of little? You you put their names up anyway. Is then any yeah. I mean, that, well, the plan will be to make sure that everybody that's donated to the project will will be acknowledged, um, and and hopefully come to the grand opening. Well, that's fabulous, isn't it? So, um, how, when when will this be open? Do you think when is it going to? Well, we started work, yeah. um, and which was exciting at the end of last year, and we are um, hoping to open in two thousand at some point in two thousand and fourteen. Probably spring summer two thousand and fourteen will be um, when the project completes. Um, uh, so that's what we're working towards. Well, I think it's incredibly exciting. Have you got a website? Can you give them the listeners your website? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Our website is www.lyric.co.uk. Great, and if they want to donate something or do absolutely anything, go can. to the go yes. to the website and uh, press the button that says donate now. And all the workshops up on the website as well. Absolutely, aren't they? Mm. all the info, all mm. our what's on information in terms of the shows on our stage and all the activities that, that we offer for children and young people um, are all listed on our website. Well, that's wonderful. Is there anything else you think that would be interesting for the listeners to know about? It? Um, well, maybe that our next show is um, Knee High, um, oh, yes. Knee High Steptoe Wonderful. and Son, yes. based on the TV series, mm. which is coming to us in March. And it's and Knee High. Because the theatre is now and love Knee High. That's mm. right. They've got a huge following, so it'll be a really successful show. Mm. So it'll be great to... Get masses of schools there. Yeah. Because they're yeah. studying in the schools now. Mm. And also, just to remind listeners who live in um, live or work in Hammersmith and Fulham, that the first nights of all lyric shows are free. Yes. Um, if you come to our box office on either the Friday or Saturday before um, the first night of a production, you can get free tickets to lyric shows as part of our, of our commitment to the community. That's fantastic. Do they have to bring the ID? They, yeah, absolutely. If they bring proof of their either their home or their work address. Yes. That's fabulous. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Well, thank you for.